local news in HD one hour earlier. This is your Fox 29 10 o'clock news. Well, parents feel helpless enough when their son or daughter is diagnosed with a deadly illness. But now imagine hearing part of the illness came from a contaminated medicine that you were giving them. 10 o'clock news reporter Emily Panalidis shows us how a local family is suing the medicine's maker. This is how Kathy Pacheco remembers her son. He was healthy, but he was making a comeback. Kyle was in remission from leukemia here, cheering on his mom at a San Francisco marathon. I took him to San Francisco, and he was there at the finish line. I spent five days with him in San Francisco. And it's something I replay every day in my mind. In this picture, Kyle was still in remission. Kyle was going to have a wonderful life. But then suddenly, Kyle's life went from wonderful, hopeful, to black. He was rushed to the hospital in a coma, and now he looks like this. Well, he suffered some brain damage, so he's truly like a four-year-old. Doctors said Kyle had gotten bacteria into his bloodstream. It would be days until Kyle's mom realized it was the very medicine she was giving Kyle that was making him sick. You see, the FDA and CDC recalled heparin and saline pre-filled syringes. The ones she was giving him were contaminated with bacteria. What the family didn't know was that they were flushing poison directly into Kyle's bloodstream. That's attorney Robert Boyers. Kyle's mom hired him because she now believes the companies manufacturing those drugs are responsible for Kyle turning from this to this. Somebody needs to watch out for him, and someone needs to be responsible. Emily Pantelides, Fox 29. Now we try contacting AM2 Pat Inc., also known as Sierra Prefilled, the manufacturers of the tainted syringes. Their phone was busy for more than five hours today. We also could not get in touch with any of the other companies named in the lawsuit for comment. 